Hey guys, it's Justin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today we're going to see Jurassic World Dominion. Okay, so it's actually going to be tomorrow that we're going to see the movie, but I had something the day before that I wanted to sort of talk about how I feel about this series in general before I review the final one. I wanted to give you my thoughts on the originals and the remakes like Jurassic World movies. Um, but before I do that, I know what you're thinking. Justin, what are you doing? You need to shave. I was going to until I realized a certain thing. Let me go show y'all. So I just came in here to shave, right? And then I realized that I had this <laughs> Jurassic World Dominion. Like, it's just regular shaving cream, but um, they have, like, the dinosaur on it and everything. So that's really... Oh, there's a sweepstakes. There you go. You can scan the barcode. If you, oh, it's not focusing. There you go. Um, so they have a Jurassic World shaving cream. And I went to go do it, and I was just like, holy crap, like, that's really funny. So I put it in the video before I did it. But we're going to go shave now, and then I'll show y'all the thing I was going to show y'all before I get into my review for, like, the other movies. And just like that, I'm all shaved. So, I wanted to show you guys, before I did the review, I went and did something, which I was, I was going to not do this until tomorrow, but I just thought, like, let's start the video day ahead, and I can show you guys what I did. So... This is what I did, and I didn't realize over there that that's Colby's blanket. It literally says Jurassic Park, so that's kind of fitting with the whole thing. This is my thing that I'm doing. Now, if you don't know where I'm going with this, all these clothes, then I will show you. So if you don't know what I'm doing, there is a character in the original Jurassic Park trilogy, in the first one and in the third, I believe, is the only one he's in, um, named Dr. Alan Grant, and I'll put a picture of him, I'll put a picture of him up here. So, but if you don't know who he is, then you need to go watch the original ones because he's amazing. Great character. I love uh, Ed Ellie. Ellie Sadler. Yeah, I love her too. Um, the original one is just, you'll hear my opinion on it. I just rewatched it again and yeah, I love it. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that out of the way. But um, I thought it would be fun to, when I go see the movie tomorrow, to, since he's in the movie, to sort of dress up like him. Um, I had most of this stuff already. Let me show you. So everything you see here, uh, here, I already had. The only thing that I didn't have was the classic blue shirt that he wears. And I got this at, you'll never guess, Goodwill for literally $5. So everything else I already had. And if you saw the picture, yes, I know he doesn't wear a belt like this, which I have a regular belt, but I just wanted to add some sort of like some other color to it. I don't know. Um, and I, I already had this red bandana. I don't even know why. Probably something from like band or whenever I used to be in band. I don't really know. And then the infamous safari hat, which yes, there's a Mickey head, uh, like Mickey head, a Mickey on it, which like, it's not that noticeable, especially whenever, um, he's so tiny and like, you're just wearing it. Uh, and you don't look up close. He's not really noticeable. <clears throat> so here's everything. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try it all on and make sure that everything fits. Um, all of this I already had, so this is basically just like, <laughs> I've seen people like go to Universal and stuff like this when they go to Jurassic World, like sort of dress up like him. Um, but it's, I mean, it's not anything out of the ordinary, so it's not like it's like a costume. It's literally just like, you're just wearing the same clothes that he wears. So I think it'll be pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and try it on. Okay. So for starters, the biggest, well, here's, let me just do a backup like this. So here's the full thing. I mean, I'm just gonna wear my regular brown tennis shoes. Obviously, it's not like spot on. His shirt has two pockets. Um, it's not a safari hat like I have with a string. Um, it's like a, I don't even know what kind of hat it is really. It's like a fedora, but like longer, I don't know. Um, and then the bandana, I think is probably the best looking thing. And then I rolled up the sleeves. Here's the thing. The biggest problem with this is, let me move y'all up actually, since y'all already, already seen the whole thing. Um, the biggest problem with this was the shirt. Now, I guess that's what I get for not trying it on. I mean, it was a Goodwill and it was $5, so I mean, it's not like I lost much. Um, will I wear this shirt on a regular basis? No, and here's why. I'm not gonna, well, I guess I can turn around, but I don't know if you'll be able to see. I'll just stand on my toes. But the bottom of the shirt, literally like, if I were to bend over, I, my underwear and everything else would be shown. So. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm going to wear a white t-shirt under this. Um, I get This clearly is not made for somebody who's tall. I'm six foot, over six foot actually. And clearly was not made for somebody who's tall. So, uh, would I wear this regu regularly? No. Um, if it were longer, then sure. But I don't think it did, I did that bad. I mean, the hat, I think, looks a little bit like cowboyish. But that's just me. I mean, maybe it doesn't. I mean, the more I look at it, the more I mean it's sort of believable. Um, 
the like not believable, but you know who I was trying to go as. Um, so and also the shirt buttons were really really weird. You can't tell, but they were like backwards. So normally how the buttons on the right side, and you button the right side into the left side. It was opposite, and the buttons were on the left side. And you had to button them to the right. So it was really throwing me off. I thought I had it inside out for a minute, but obviously not. I mean, the pocket and everything is fine, and the inside has a tag in it and everything. So it was not inside out. It was just really weird. Um, just got it from the regular, the men's section of Goodwill. So <laughs> what y'all doing, guys? But I really like the whole thing. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. Um, for just one night, for just wearing it to a movie, I think that it's pretty, I mean, you could tell who I'm trying to be. Um, the string, honestly, I thought it was going to kind of aggravate me that it's there and it's not there in the picture, but I mean, it really doesn't bother me. And the bandana, I had to double knot it because it was really bothering me when like this piece was like way up here and like kind of in my face. So I had to do that and then pull it down some. Um, but I think it looks pretty good. So I'm really looking forward to going to the movie tomorrow. Like I said, I'm just going to wear a white t-shirt <laughs> under this because I'm not trying to moon the whole theater. So now I will go and change out of this and I'm going to talk to you guys about my Jurassic World slash Jurassic Park thoughts. Okay, I'm back in my regular clothes now and I decided to keep the safari hat on or the Alan Grant hat, definitely not a Disney World safari hat. So I wanted to talk to you guys about my thoughts with every single installment in the Jurassic World slash Jurassic Park franchise, series, trilogy, I don't know. But, um, no, Trilogy is three, isn't it? I think that's three. I want to tell you guys about what my personal opinions are before I go watch this movie, because at the end of this video, I will do a short, because I, I don't want this video to get too long, I will do a short, spoiler-free review, um, or spoiler, I haven't really decided yet, you'll know by the title. Um, there's a car going by. Uh, my stepdad is coming home right now, okay. Okay, super sorry about that, you guys. My stepdad had to come home to grab something. Um, so, right back to where I was talking about. So, I'm going to go ahead and start off with my favorite movie. Now, I'm not going to treat them individually. My cat's walking by. Um, I'm not going to treat them individually, whereas Jurassic Park, the original one, and Jurassic World are two separate things, even though they are. Um, it's still part of one. So, I'm going to... Like, some of them are going to be mixed in with, like... One of the Jurassic Worlds might be my favorite over one of the Jurassic Park ones or something like that. Um, instead of just like, which are my favorite of Jurassic Park and which are my favorite of Jurassic World. So, let's get started with the first one. Okay, so my very first movie that is my favorite is, should be no surprise, Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is one of those movies that I... I think I watched when I was younger and I was just like, ooh, cool dinosaurs and everything. But I didn't really understand, like, the plot point of it and the whole, like, famous quote, life finds a way and everything. I don't think I ever really understood that when I was little. I just rewatched it again for, like, the first time in, like, two years maybe. Maybe even longer. Probably longer. Um, and there are so many things that I just, like, I did not notice before that are so cool and... Um, that I just understood the plot a lot better besides just oh, crazy scary dinosaurs um and I think Malcolm Ian Malcolm right Dr. Malcolm uh, I don't know if his first name's Ian but I know he's Dr. Malcolm um he has become one of my favorite characters solely just because of that first movie everyone's always talking about how they're his favorite and everything and I didn't really understand that until I just rewatched it um and I really I really enjoyed this movie every single scene seems like a classic scene like from the welcome to Jurassic Park where they're looking out of there and they see the the herd of dinosaurs and seeing the dinosaurs for the first time to the t-rex escaping the, to the car falling down in the tree scene and all that to sleeping in the tree to the electric fence scene to the final one with the raptors in the kitchen I mean every single scene in this movie seems like it was just, it's got that warm I don't really know what to call it. Um, uh, Steven Spielberg directed this uh, as he did some of the other ones, I think. Um, and it's got this like warm feel about it, even though it's like scary, obviously at times. It's got this really like warm feel about it. And I think the John Williams score also really helps with that. I mean, this is one of the most recognizable, a lot of his music is, but this is one of the most recognizable themes of all time, I would say. 
for like if someone hears that they're like even if they haven't seen the movie they still know what it's from and i think that's a really good job if you know what the song is from and the theme song is from even if you've never seen the movie um i just i really love this movie and uh i think it has a really good like the, the uh, villain point where um dennis takes the like bottle of shaving pff, that's what they should have done side note that's what they should have done when i showed you all the shaving cream earlier was they should have uh taken the um the the shaving cream bottle I, don't, I guess it didn't look any different but they could have like written like jurassic world on it and just had it like look like the one from the movie whenever he puts the little embryo things in it but i thought the villain like his um driving point to just like get the money and everything and steal like the embryo tubes i don't really know how it works i thought all of that was really cool and the way he died by getting like attacked by um i don't know what it's called the dinosaurs of spit acid that have like the little things on the side of their face um I thought that was really, really cool, and I just, I love this movie so, so much, I can't say it enough, and to have rewatched it and understand more of the things, that just, my love for it comes out even more, so Jurassic World, or sorry, Jurassic Park 1 is my favorite out of all of the movies, now moving on to the second, my second favorite, okay, so my second favorite movie is Jurassic World, the very first one, I think... I understood this movie more because I think I, I didn't see this before the original Jurassic Park movies, but I was old enough to understand, I think, the plot of this one better. This one has a like more understandable plot. It's a big scary dinosaur. They wanted more teeth for the theme park, so they made a big dinosaur and she escapes. That's the main plot, but the other one has some like, um, they shouldn't open it because life finds a way, it's gonna escape and all this stuff. But, um, I think that this one, having it being a theme park and like succeeding and just imagining that theme park aspect really helped because you guys know I love theme parks. Hello, I go to Disney World all the time. Um, but I think having that sort of theme park um, aspect of it was really, really cool. And seeing the Adominus Rex, I was so scared of it the first time that I saw it. It was, it was like, it was a good scare. It wasn't like, I don't want to rewatch the movie. It was like, so you're scared of it like you're supposed to be like it, it had a great threat like it wasn't something like when i get to in a minute the second jurassic world fallen kingdom that um the dinosaur in that one uh is not that scary because is i think it's just a smaller version of the indominus right um but uh or like mixed with more raptor i don't really understand but um i think the indominus really posed a, like a potential threat like it killed a lot of people very quickly and them not telling you right away that it was part raptor and that it was classified and everything on the lab that was an amazing move um by the script writers and everything i really enjoyed that um not knowing that at any point like it could be part something that we have no idea and the mosasaurus at the end spoiler alert if you haven't seen it which it's been out for a long time the mosasaurus kills it at the end and drags it into the water and it's just it's such a cool scene and them having the original to the more I talk about this, the more I love this movie. I just rewatched this again as well. The the original T-Rex running out of the paddock and like chasing Claire. Um, she runs with heels on and doesn't break her ankle somehow. But um, I thought it was super, super cool. I keep saying cool, but I don't know what other word to use because it really is cool. But um, and her running and it fighting with the Adominus and the Raptors, I think in the first movie, they held off. And I didn't realize this until I rewatched it. They held off showing the Raptors for so long I think just to build up that sort of like it's an unlike any other dinosaur like yeah you have the t-rex and everything but raptors are very intelligent in these movies and they are very fast and they can kill you sometimes even quicker than a t-rex can because it chases you but a raptor is like very vicious and like small but very mighty so uh, they made the right move holding off and the fact that in Jurassic World they were able to train them but they ended up turning on some of the people and um but at the end the grand scheme of things ended up fighting and helping win against the indominus so i really love this movie um that's why it's my second favorite and now we're going to move on to my third favorite in the installment okay so my third favorite movie is jurassic park 3 so i see i've seen this one probably the most out of any of the Jurassic Park or World movies. Maybe not Jurassic World, but I've seen it definitely the second most. Um, I always go back to rewatching this one. A lot of people say that they've seen it once and that it was kind of enough and they might have rewatched it like once, but I've seen it a lot. I don't really know why, but um, I really, really enjoyed this one. Uh, the whole like 
I think it begins with like, cause I haven't seen this one in a little while. The son like um, going, uh, what's it called? Paracliding? I don't know. When he's on the boat with his dad and everything and being stranded at the island and then them having to go save him. Dr. Alan Grant, he's in this one. Um, they brought him back for the, uh, the third one, thank God. And it was really, honestly, I think the Stegosaurus should have appeared sooner in some of the other ones because the second one, just wait till we get there. The second one, uh, but uh, I mean, not the second one, the third one, I feel like the Stegosaurus should have appeared in some of the other ones um, previously because he's like terrifying. Like out of all the ones that I've seen, he, the biggest one, like the big dinosaurs, he's the most scary looking. And um, I think uh, there's a lot of memorable moments in this one too, as like in the first one uh, where, you know, like there's the pterodactyls and everything and they all get attacked on that bridge and um, the plane scene when the, yeah, okay, now that I think about it, the more, yeah. So the plane scene where they crash and everything on the tree and the um, dinosaurs trying to like eat them out of the plane and like I think literally breaks the plane in half and eats half the plane and tries to eat them. I think that whole thing is really cool. And the mom and the dad trying to go save their son. Um, I think that's what they're doing, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Don't don't hate me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing. Um, but uh, I think that's super, super cool. And uh, we have that classic ringtone. I'll play it. Um, it's, it, it's like, it's a very memorable movie. A lot of people don't really like it, but I thoroughly enjoy watching it every time that I watch it. And um, it, it feels, I think, out of the three Jurassic Park movies, it definitely feels the closest to that Steven Spielberg, like, like the first one did, um, based, not the second one, but the third one feels way more like that Steven Spielberg, like, warm feeling than it does, than the second one does. So, um, I really enjoyed this one, that's why it's my third favorite, and now we're gonna move on to my fourth favorite movie. Okay, so my fourth one is Fallen Kingdom, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Now, here's the thing. The reason this is ranking so low on the list is not because I hate the movie. Big shock there, because a lot of people really hated this movie. And I, when I say hated, like it, I think it, I'll put Rotten Tomatoes score up here, but it was, it was not good. Um, but I watched it in theaters and they said, I think going into this knowing, going into the movie knowing this helped me enjoy it better. They said that the, they had a new director and that they wanted it to feel more like a horror horror movie. I did not just say the W word. Uh, <laughs> um, but I think it has a much better horror as aspect um, than I was expecting because a lot of the Jurassic Park movies and world movies, um, yeah, they can be a little scary and everything, but they're not like that intense. Um, but this movie really pushed the limits to what could be scary and whatnot. Um, so I know a lot of it takes place in a mansion. The majority of the movie actually does. Uh, but I liked the beginning part where they were on the island trying to get all the dinosaurs off of it and everything. Um, I think, I don't remember his name. Gosh, uh, it's some like nerdy character. I don't know. He was new for this one, but he was really funny. And I enjoyed the fact that like the volcano was erupting and everything and that they had to run off the island real, real quick. Um, but I don't know. I just, this one was good, but... It wasn't my absolute favorite. Um, I don't hate it. I, I'm actually going to rewatch it again tonight before we go see the, the new one tomorrow. And if anything changes, I'll let you guys know because I haven't seen it in a little while. Um, I'm watching it with my mom and I'll maybe see what she thinks about it. But uh, I didn't really hate this movie, but it definitely wasn't my favorite. I think a lot of people, they also don't like it because not just because of the mansion part, but because the little girl um, is cloned in it. Uh, I didn't really understand that. I still kind of don't, um, like why they did the, like what the purpose of that was. And people were like, oh, that's far-fetched. That's far-fetched. We're talking about cloning dinosaurs, but then the second you use the same technology to clone a person, it's far-fetched and kind of crazy. I agree that the plot point probably didn't need to be there. And when they kind of and like built, a, I didn't get that they were building up to announcing that she was a clone in the movie. I, I didn't really get that that's what the whole like build up was. Um, so when that happened, I was just kind of like, what? But I mean, uh, it's not that far off. I mean, we're talking about cloning hundreds of dinosaurs through the course of all these movies. And the one time they clone a person, you think it's like crazy. So I don't really understand people getting mad at that. I mean, yes, it probably wasn't the best writing, but I mean, it's not like it's just so far fetched because we've definitely seen more things like that. 
Um, I think the dinosaur in this one was nowhere near as scary as the Indominus. I mean, yes, it's frightening, but um, I guess since it's instead of a smaller setting in a mansion, you don't really have many places to go. Uh, and you're kind of in a tighter, like, vicinity, so you don't really have a, anywhere to run. But um, uh, I, I thought it was an okay movie. I mean, uh, hopefully the new one's better than this one. I don't know. But that's, those are my thoughts on that. And now we're going to move on to the fifth, I think. Yeah, the fifth. My fifth favorite, I should say least favorite movie now. And it is Jurassic Park. The Lost World. Okay, so this movie, uh, I tried to rewatch it yesterday. Keyword there, tried, because I didn't make it through. I didn't make it through. And uh, I probably got an hour into it, probably whenever the whole like engine thing, people started showing up and they were all in like, the military vehicles and everything. That's when I turned it off. I think up until that point, the movie has a good thing like going, and I think that it could, I think it would have survived. I mean, I enjoy the whole, like, um, at the end, I remember the trailer and everything, like in the tree, or maybe it's a waterfall. I don't remember. That tells you how much I don't remember. But, um, I mean, I enjoy that whole scene when they're, like, in the trailer and, like, about to fall through the glass and everything, and they have to escape. That was, like, the climax and everything, and I thought that was good. But besides that, I don't really have much to say about this one because it was just that, it was not that memorable. It has like maybe two memorable scenes in it. And I think one of the only ones is in the beginning when the, she's looking at the Stegosaurus and all that and he's like making fun of her and everything. And I mean, he's about to leave and then the engine cop helicopter show up and then it, my mind just kind of goes blank. And the second one I just told y'all was the um, waterfall slash tree scene. I can't even remember one of the memorable scenes that well. That tells you how not good this movie is in my opinion um so i don't know i didn't enjoy this movie i probably if i ever tried to rewatch it i mean i would have to i would have to have a really good attention span and not have anything else to do because i turned it off pretty quickly after the that part of the movie started um so yeah i i don't i don't really like this one i'm ranking it the lowest uh for a reason, and I, it's nothing against the guy who, uh, Jeff Goldblum, who plays um, Dr. Malcolm. I think he is probably the best part of this movie, and his daughter is really funny. The girlfriend annoys the crap out of me. I know I love how she thinks that she's, you know, she's worked with animals all her life and everything, and then all of a sudden she gets to dinosaurs and she's like, yeah, I can do this too. Turns out you can't. Should have listened to your boyfriend. I think boyfriend when you had the chance, um, and left the island, uh, but I, I guess they don't have a way out or anything like that, but I would have just stayed on that trailer, I would not have gone anywhere, let those engine people do what they want to do, because that probably would have been a much more entertaining movie if they would have just left the island, and that would have been like, oh, good choice, let's just keep it like that, so I understand that, I mean, they, uh, they had to make this movie, and they're like, oh, the sequel's always never, it's never quite as good, and this really rings true for this, for this, um, trilogy not trilogy series i guess uh so lost world was my least favorite out of all of them so that's gonna be it i think for today um not today's video because don't forget i will be coming back here after i've watched uh jurassic world dominion um i'm really looking forward to it as you saw by my costume earlier and everything uh so i will let you guys know where that movie is ranking now in the list um I don't think it could be worse than Jurassic uh, Jurassic World 2, I mean, Park 2. Uh, so, I mean, it has the original people in it. Dr. Alan Grant and Ellie Sadler have come back. Um, so I think that it'll be good, hopefully. I've heard a few reviews. I watched a couple spoiler-free ones, and people seem to be like, oh, yeah, it's good, but, I mean, it's not great, great, which, I mean, you kind of expect that with any of the um, remakes. They're not remakes, but continuations. Um, but I'm looking forward to it, so... If you guys have seen it, comment down below and let me know what you think. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next day now. And you might be thinking, Justin, where's your bandana? Where's your hat? Well, here's the thing. I realized, well, I didn't realize at the time, but until recently, that we're going shopping and, like, going to eat dinner at some restaurant before we go see the movie. Now, I don't really want to go dressed like Dr. Alan Grant. I don't think, um, yeah, no, that's not a good idea. So, my plan is, right now, I kept this shirt on, because this is normal, and I was already going to wear a white shirt on under it anyways, because y'all know why. 
Um, but I found this Hollister one and I just want, I'll show you, hold on. And I just went ahead and I put the, um, my regular khaki pants on and I mean, it looks just like some weird, like summer outfit. My bed's not made. Oh Lord. Hold on. It looks like just some like summer outfit, but I'm probably going to be a little hot cause I just asked my Google what the temperature was outside and it said it was 87 degrees, but with wind conditions, it feels like it's 97. So, and I'm wearing pants and we're going to the beach area. So that should be fun. But when the time comes for the movie, I'm just going to put my bandana on, button this up, and my safari hat is right here. So it's not that, like, much of a change, really. But, um, yeah, so I will probably vlog before I, right before I go in. I don't want this to get too long. I just looked, and it's already at, like, 20-something minutes. So I'll probably record right before we go in, and then I'll let you guys know what I think when we get out. I'm Alan Grant. I was vlogging. He's the one from the... The original. Alright, we're going into the movie now. I'll let you guys know what I think after. Okay, so it's the next day now, and I went and saw the movie last night. As you saw, I was all dressed up and everything. So, here's really briefly, because this video has already gotten way over the length that I wanted it to be. Really briefly, here is what I think about the new one. I loved it. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but my family, like my mom and my stepdad, said that they liked the one previous to this, Fallen Kingdom, better than this one. And... I don't like I honestly think that this one and I mean teach their own some of you might who have seen it might be calling me crazy right now but I kind of liked this one the same amount that I liked the first Jurassic World like it was I don't know I just loved the whole plot of it and everything um I don't really want to give too much away and everything but uh I just the whole like sanctuary thing that they have with like the dinosaurs and everything and um the new character I forgot her name but she flies the plane but uh she was really cool and everything. There were a lot of characters. That's the only downside I can say is that a lot of them I feel like might not have gotten the deserved amount of screen time. But um, I think that it was a really good movie. I loved it. I will definitely watch it again. Um, I think it was the perfect way to end the series. Um, and I just, I really enjoyed it. There were a lot of memorable moments. There's one really cool thing. I don't want to give it away that literally was a lot of callbacks to the original Jurassic Park. But there's one thing that happens exactly the way that it happens in the original one. And I thought it was really funny and not, well, not funny, but really, really interesting and really cool. That they did the whole callback to that. Um, and yeah, so I really enjoyed it. I liked how the old characters came back. It felt really natural for them too and everything. So I enjoyed it. Um, if you've seen the movie, go and tell me uh, what, what you thought about it and comment down below. And I would say that now... I think it's on par with the first Jurassic World, but I still think I like that one. If I had to rank it within the ones that I've already done in this video, I still say that the first one's maybe t a tiny bit better than this one. So this one's going to go um, third place now. So it's going to be Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, Jurassic World Dominion, and then Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom, and then The Lost World. So those are my official rankings. So... If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you want me to do next. And I hope you, if you did see the movie that you enjoyed it. And if you haven't, I highly encourage you to go see it. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.